Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a quick sketch uh, of an action pose to uh, have a person holding two swords and it's a sort of a dynamic action pose. So he's like uh, on one knee and he's swinging both swords with both arms. So we'll get started with an arc like that. That is the torso. And right around here will be the shoulders. So shoulders. So I'm going to have one arm go that way. And then a bell-like hand right there. Might not be that long. I think it'll be around here somewhere. So shorter. And then one hand going like that and a bell like hand going like that so the fingers will be here and in this case fingers going like that weapon coming like that in hand so the head somewhere around here we will determine as we go along how the head is going to come and sit on the body so just do that and we have the collarbone structure, the chest, and that is the lower, lower part of the body. Now, right here, we're going to do some a bit of foreshortening as well. So the knee, this one for the left leg, knee, and the foot, and this one is where he's uh, sitting down. And we have some different options to go with right there so what we are going to do is grab a pen I would recommend that you should continue in a pencil if you can it would be uh, helpful more helpful to continue in pencil so I'm just putting down a quick sketch of a hand and as I said that that bell shape uh, was put down but I brought the hand in a little further inside so one two three four fingers and there's a thumb right there and I let's say that he's holding a weapon that has this type of handle and there is the weapon and there's the remainder of the handle going through now you could have of course a stick in his hand or a sword it really doesn't matter and in this case it doesn't matter because either will look good now i'm putting some structure around that shoulder so a little bit of delt going there and then i have i stop short right there because i have the knee that will come up and cover a bit of that hand and i have that hand going in that direction and you, as you see that i've instead of going all the way here i've just chosen to bring the hand outward a little bit and instead the bell shape comes inside then so same concept just the placement has changed a little bit and I go one two three and four right there is the handle and I'm going, I could give the same kind of uh, structure here thumb and of course that sword right there in his hand so he's fling flinging two swords right there so the pecs there's some compression also of course in this kind of a pose so collarbone area still haven't decided what I'm doing with the head so I'm going to leave it alone for a, for a few more seconds I put in the knee the shin and really I could place it here like this or like this even like that and I'm just going with a, a happy medium in between and putting it like that so not too much foreshortening there but just a little bit and there is his other leg so I put the cord down the quad and the leg 
give him those slacks. Now the question becomes that uh, you could either uh, the option I'm sorry is that you could either place this leg right out and have the foot going somewhere there. Some foreshortening will be needed in any case. This foot will, the feet will not be the same size. This will be smaller, of course. Or you could have it go even further back and place it somewhere here. Just have it tilting a little bit like that. I think that might make for a more dynamic uh, pose. But again, it's all up to you. You can make the legs thinner. You can make the legs thicker. And again, it's all a case of how you wish to go about it. Now here, you could have the head going in different directions. For that matter, you could even have the hands holding the weapons like that. So they could be going like that or like that. You could even have the hands like straight and holding the weapon pretty much at the same angle or at this angle so a lot of options here to play around with but here you could have him look so you could have him look up so in this case the ears would be here eyes nose mouth and of course the chin right there so he could be looking upward there's the two dimension or he could be looking downward and in this case uh, his head is drooping a bit into the collarbone so there's the nose, mouth, ears again, details or you could have him look to this side or that side I mean it can be any of those things but here's the quick way of going about this particular kind of pose so fighting with two weapons a dynamic pose please do try it out and I'm sure you can have lots of fun and you could use them use this for a variety of characters so thank you for watching please do subscribe and keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day